Hi guys, uh, welcome to the channel. I hope you're having a great day. So currently we are in Horwich, um, Million Dollar Bogan. Um, you also might know him as Daniel Hayes. He's doing a meet and greet at uh, well, somewhere up here in Harwich. Um, so, so yeah, we're going to go and meet him. I'll say hello. See how many other people turn up. So those of you that know uh, Million Dollar Bogan, he travels pretty much everywhere on a Harley. Where he does all the motor vlogs and run and trips. Uh, I mean, he's travelled pretty much all over the world. I think this is the first time he's going to be riding around the UK, Scotland, and Ireland on a Harley. I'm not sure how long he's here for. I think he posted that he was in England for 19 days. Um, he's currently meeting up with uh, Bobhead, a motorcycle brand that sponsor him. Um, so I think he spent the last, from, according to his Instagram, he spent the last few days there with them. Uh, doing the meet and greet today, but I don't know where he's going after here. They might tell us, but well, we'll see when we get there. So there's a few people here, maybe 30 or so, some guy taking pictures on the way in. And obviously everyone's waiting for him to arrive, I think he's due to arrive at 11. It's 10.22 now. So here he is, he, uh, I think this is him coming up now. I, I flew out, um, what day is it? Saturday, isn't it? So Sunday, Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, I'm still a bit jet lagged and getting my head, uh, sort of only been here, it'll be a week tomorrow. But I just want to say this, I'm here because of the Bobhead guys, Damo and Seb, yeah, where are they? Yeah. These guys here, and they're dead, they've been awesome, I've been staying at their house and there for another night. Um, they're just, I'm here because of them, that's the bottom line, so they, they sort of got me out here. Um, so you guys will follow my vlog. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Look at the dream. Look at the It's the weirdest thing. I t <laughs> it's so funny. Hang on. Just look at this guy. Look at the dream, mate. Look at the dream. I don't know if you know, but I was born in the UK. Yes. I was born in a town called Grantham in Lincolnshire, and my mum and dad. They immigrated when I was five to give us kids, you know, a bit of a better life. So I was just having fish and chips with Seb and Damo, and I'm just having all these memories. And what was the drink I drank? London Bird. London Bird. Yeah, and, I, and I, it just took me back yeah. to this kid. And I've been back a couple of times, you know, when I was about 10 or 14. But 
I just remember it being really dull. I was casting really dull. Yeah, yeah, and just yeah, like yeah. this. <laughs> it's, it's just the same. Yeah. But um, what's, what's really weird is that I was telling the guys, you, you go out and you do your vlog, like if you just watch the Kimberly vlog with me and Veronica, yeah. Yeah. then before that went to the tip of Australia with Harry. We, I don't see anyone until I do this. And then you yeah. realise the gravity. And you just see the numbers, you don't know, oh, that vlog's had 50,000 views, that one's had 80, 100, whatever. But until you do this, you don't um, realise that people actually follow your vlog and um, yeah. So, so the I, I don't I don't give out my itinerary because what happens is, and I feel really rude, and I always say this when I have a meet and greet. I get all these messages, and you do anyone that has a bit of a social media, but you get smashed by people, and you just can't meet up with people. And not only that, you say I'm going to meet here, you get caught in rain, you start riding dangerously. You want to film the shot, you want to put the drone up, just to put a drone up can take half an hour. Then it starts right, and you, you always miss. So you just sort of do, you know, the, but I always feel rude because I get so many people saying, can you meet here? And I just can't physically do it. It's just, one is it's too dangerous. But the itinerary from here really is that I'm heading up north through the lake. I haven't really started filming yet. I just haven't had the drone out, but the Lake District then into Scotland for about five or six days. Then I'll come back down all the way to the bottom of England, um, around Wales. And then I, um, I ditch the, the Harley that I've hired, which is a bit, a little bit embarrassing for me. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a baby chopper, 883, 40. <laughs> Hard tail. It's got no indicators. It's got no speedo. It's got no fuel gauge. It's got no mirrors. It's like lucky it's got a motor and wheels. Um, so it's the most dangerous bike to be on. But then I, um, I get rid of that and then I catch it. Then I'm in Ireland for five or six days. And then I go back to Heathrow. Then I fly to Los Angeles. And um, and then uh, Matt, uh, anyone heard of Matt Laidlaw? Yep. Laidlaw? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so I'm meeting up with Matt. So my Road King has been shipped. My green Road King, the one that I've brutalised. That's that's um, that's over in Los Angeles at the moment. That's going to Matt's and putting on some suspension and doing a little bit of work there. And then I ride for five weeks through Mexico. And I'm picking up. I won't say who I'm picking up, but there's a couple of people I'm picking up along the way. There'll be some music, you know, the mute when you hear the certain music kicks in. Yeah. yeah. So um, that's so I'm gone for um, about two and a half months, um, filming every day. So it's, it will be a good series, I think. And we've had we we're in Blackpool yesterday, and we had some fun. We've we've already got some really funny. Funny stuff. Did anyone see the stuff where the guy said his name was Hayes? Hayes. Yeah. 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 What's the, um, I just always ask people this, what's, what do you think was the best series? What's been the favourite, do you think? India. 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 Yeah, everyone India. says India, yeah. 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 That's, <laughs> it's funny, yeah, it's funny. Four years ago, people would always comment, you're on the wrong bike. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? I didn't know that. <laughs> I thought I was on a GS1200 BMW, you know, like, like the whole idea of the vlog, and people get it, it's sort of, there's undertones of perseverance. Yeah. So even the bike I've hired now is, is, is pretty shit, isn't it? Let's be honest. <laughs> like, it's not this one, it's, it's back, they're, they're, they're embarrassed to come with me on it. Um, <laughs> but it's one of the, there's undertones of perseverance you can, you know, because in, in life, I don't want to get too philosophical, but everybody says you can't do it. You can't do this, you can't do that. And I sort of say, well, you know what? Who says you can't? You can go and do it, you know, if you if you want it bad enough. So I think that's why you're so inspirational, though, because of that. Well, I, I don't mean to be. I just think that, you know, um, like all of us, you know, I lost my younger brother not that long ago, say, it's, say four years ago, but to me yeah. it's like yesterday since he died. So uh, when as you get older, and I, I said this recently somewhere, as you get older, every people you know they die, they get cancer, they get killed, you get divorced. People you know have, you know, have a fit. Like you, it's an endurance of pain as you get older. The older you get, you've just got to carry more and more pain. So I just think you've just got to live harder and harder and harder because it just goes so quick. Like I can't, I can't believe that in three or four months I'm 50 years old. Yeah. You know, I'm really Soon struggling. Goes, hey. Soon goes, don't it? Yeah, I mean a couple of hair transplants. I've had a, <laughs> an eyelid lift and Botox and fillers and. Lots of money spent on teeth, but <laughs> still. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I do. I, I just I just need the leg extensions. <laughs> so, but no. Um, Where's B? Where's sorry. Where's B? B's at home. 
Uh, you need six months to record. Do you like V? Yeah. You think you should keep V? Uh, keep V. <laughs> she's, you know what? She's hard. I just want to clear something up. I hate it when people say, oh, don't be a tight ass. Why don't you go and buy some Kevlar jeans? She yeah. knows I'm talking with a bit of an English accent. I know it's because I've been in the country five days. Um, Jeez, is that, is that, yeah, that's oil. oil? Is that oil? Yeah. It's proper oily. It's an oil like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've never seen it's that weeping. before. That's, that's it's a new... Been been it all. <laughs> <laughs> you dropped, have you dropped it? No. <laughs> I just want to Not say yet. this. I don't drop bikes. <laughs> <laughs> and people that want to judge me, you come for a ride with me through the desert on sand on a 370 kilo bike, loaded yeah. up, carrying a pillion and you're going to drop a bike, and they're only soft drops. I've not broken, a, I've cracked a couple of ribs once on a beach, but that, apart from that, I've, I've been lucky, but you know, being a rider, as you guys would all relate, it just, it can all end very quickly for you. You yeah. know, it's just a, it's, it's the thrill of it, isn't it? V, I'm not saying V is coming to Mexico, but if she was coming to Mexico, <laughs> part of the, the deal was that she had to get Kevlar yeah. jeans. Um, we may seem reckless um, when we're riding with t-shirt. Maybe the thongs part is a bit reckless, but <laughs> but it is so hot. Yeah, I can believe it. And I'm sure half you guys will disagree and half will agree. I'd rather be comfortable and agile riding and have my faculties about myself rather than all kitted up in 40 degree heat and going, well, if I come off, you know, so we just, we just choose to. And a lot of the stuff we do, like when we did the, the Tip of Australia trip, a lot of it was gravel. We were probably doing 40, 60 k's an hour, you know, 30 miles, 40 miles, whatever. If we're going to crash, we're not going to die. We'll be probably, you know, if we jump off correctly, you know. Um, what about Parry? You're going to take Parry? Who's Parry? He needs to want to go to his coffees. He's the best. Parry, everybody loves Parry, I know. And do you know why? It's because he's not a try hard yeah. with the... With he just looks stoned all the time. Yeah, he's, he's, he's got really bad ADHD, so he takes a lot of Ritalin and dexamphetamine, like, and that's why he's so calm. But he's but so entertaining, isn't he? Yeah, well, he's very dry, and he doesn't, you know, <laughs> he loves coming, and he can't come all the time because he's still sort of very hands-on with his he's a big owner as well, but he's very much still hands-on. Just do some minor repairs. Yeah. <laughs> That's bizarre, that's happening, isn't it? Yeah, it's really that no ring gone or something. Fixed it. So, what was, what was your favourite trip? So I have to say, I really enjoyed going to the tip of Australia. Um, one is because there was no traffic. We could have, if you, that vlog, you notice when we, when we did hit the rain, the whole road went. Yeah, yeah. We dodged that. It was like the clouds had parted and it had given us a, a route to the tip of Australia. Going, when we went there, you should never ride in that. When we, there was no other cars on the road, no, we didn't see one other motorbike because it's the wet season, um, and you could we could have just got flooded out. We were pretty, we, we could have been trapped at the top of Australia for weeks. You know what I mean? If the rain had come at the wrong time, so but that's the thrill of what we, we, we love doing. But I did, in regards to ease and comfortability and cinematography, um, I, I think that's probably one of my. Because you tried it with once before, didn't you? And, and you well, that was my very first vlog on the green road kit. Yeah, right, yeah. um, I went up there alone on stock tyres on a Harley. That was about four or five years ago. And um, what happened was I, I was, I got, how weird is this? This is an interesting story. About six years ago, I got asked to audition for a real estate reality TV show. And it didn't come to fruition. So I thought, I'll take a camera into my own workplace and I'll start filming, you know, what happens as a real estate agent. And I did a bit of that. And if you watch my earlier stuff, it's mainly real estate stuff. Yeah. And then I decided, me and Stacey, my ex-wife, we, we were just going through a rough, I don't blame her, I'm, I'm a difficult guy, but but we're going through a rough, and I just took off and I thought I'll take the camera and I'll, I'll vlog the trip. And it don't, and I couldn't understand, I was, anyone that's a YouTuber here, is anyone trying to build it? It's hard to build a channel, yeah? How hard is it, yeah? It's hard. I need you to subscribe now. Well, I can, actually, I can accidentally go live on mine and I'll have like 2,000 followers yeah, straight away. Yeah. It's an accident. It's so once it, but it takes time. So I wasn't getting much traction and then I did this vlog. I went to the tip of Australia and uploaded the first vlog and it's like 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 views. Holy shit. And then I did it as a series, and then it dawned on me, algorithm, what's popular in the world? Harley Davidson's, no custom building it. So keywords like custom building a road kick, 
road trip, using keywords like, you know, motorbike road trip, they're all, and there's a big culture of Harley Davidson riders, so I've just stuck to that formula, and it's just been trip up. But the thing is, I love doing it. Yeah, I, I'm, I mean, I love, but like, like you guys, or there's probably not, not everyone here is a Harley rider, are all different riders, but I love the product. It's not just a product, it's the culture of, yeah. of a Harley Davidson rider. Yeah. You know, it's like a brotherhood. Yeah. Um, and but I don't think the I think as typical there's a disconnect from the guys at corporate HD that are all you know Looking with their numbers, aren't they? Yeah, with number crunches with yeah, their yeah. three degrees, yeah. and you've got. The, oh, thanks, mate. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> That's mindset. That's sad, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> So Danny's currently talking to everyone. Everyone's asking him loads of questions, as you can see. Uh, he's talking about his editing and people asking about Veronica and other bits and bobs. Uh, turned out, weather's actually turned out all right. Stopped raining, quite a few bikes here. Yeah, that's not bad. Yep. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, it's a good bit for having on. I don't normally have that on. Oh, yeah, Julie, you sound very British. What can we you go from? Fucker hell, mate. You're a fucking bastard. That's what a lady said to me the other day. You're a fucking bastard. Especially the winter. Have you been working in it? Everyone, well, there's still quite a few bikes here, as you can see. Yeah, I mean, he's a great down to earth guy. Um, just been chatting about everywhere, where he's planning on going, what he's doing. Um, I just sat on my bike. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've got a shooting hour anyway. So, uh, so yeah, hope you enjoyed the vlog. Um, stay safe.